So this part is for the people that already have an email list and they want to import that email list into your GetResponse account. So we're already uh, on the list section here. If, you, if you're not here, just um, click on, on lists on the left side here, and then you get to your overview where you see your lists. Like we've already noticed, we already have a master contact list in our account. And to import our existing contacts, what we're gonna do is click on import contacts on the right side here. And then we have some different options to import our contacts. So we can either just click on the copy paste your contacts here and well, what's that? Okay, agree, thank you very much. Okay, so we can click on the copy and paste your contacts, um, which uh, is a field where you can manually import your contacts. But most of you are not gonna wanna use that tool because you have a large email list of maybe a thousand or even more people. And um, so you wanna export your email list as a CSV file. So go to your other email marketing provider and, and if you don't know how to do this, just go to ask their support how to, uh, how to export your email list. And then you will export it as a CSV file, as you see here. And then we can import that CSV file to our active campaign account. So once you have that CSV file, just click on import from file and then we're gonna look for that file. I have prepared an example file here, and then you click on open, and that will import uh, our existing email list into our active campaign account. And then we have some different fields to map. So if we check how that document looks in our, uh, in our CSV file, you see that it has different columns. So here, let me just make that a little bit bigger. You see that it has an ID, it has a campaign uh, name, it has the name of the person with the email, it has the email itself. It has a lot of different information uh, that we can import here. And you have to tell Active Campaign uh, what information you actually want to import. And in my case right now, all I'm interested in is basically their name and their email address, um, because that's all I'm gonna use for my email marketing. But maybe you want to use some other, um, you want to import some other information as well. Like maybe you have their IP address or their location that you want to import as well. And you want to make sure that what's here on the left side actually makes sense um, on the column on the right side. So for example, the name column um, is for me, I want to tell ActiveCampaign that whatever is under name, uh, this is the first and the last name because when I get people's contact, I always just ask for the name and whatever they can type in their first name or their full name, it doesn't really matter. So when I send uh, in a customized email with the name, I just type, I just use the first and last name um, uh, tag. So I'm just gonna choose first and last name and then email, it already recognizes that the email is the email address obviously. And then you wanna scroll down and what we have here, it already assigned the birth date to the subscribe date, which doesn't make sense. So we want to make sure that um, you either change that to birth date, but I think it's not available here. So um, you can either create a new field and say, okay, that's the birth date, um, or um, I don't care about their birth date, so I'm just going to click on do not import this field because I, I don't ask for the birth date anyway, so I don't really have that information anyway. Um, then I'm going to scroll down and you see last update. Um, it says last name, which is wrong as well. So I'm just going to click on do not import this field as well. So once you've done that, you're going to scroll all the way down and then you have to select the list that you want to import those contacts to. So as we've seen, we already, we only have one list. So we're going to choose the master contact list for our email list. And then if you want, you can also add some tags. So um, let's say now it's July 2020, um, maybe you, you just type in July 2020, that's the import of July 2020. Or if that's like a specific list, like let's say uh, like that's your customer list, um, then you can say customer uh, and then a specific product. So that you know um, who those contacts are. So let's say you want to send out an email about a specific topic that's only for your customers, then you can can filter your addresses 
by this tag. So if that makes sense for you, just add a tag here. I'm just going to leave it because I only have, it's just an example. So I'm just going to, not going to add, not going to add any tags here. Um, and then um, as we don't have any, any uh, context already, it doesn't make sense to update existing context because we don't have any. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. And then I'm going to click on import now. So that might take a little while, depending on how large your email list actually is. And then once it's finished, we're going to check if those people are actually on our email list now. So now it says that it is completed. So we're going to um, go to the left side again, click on lists. And then we see our master contact list. And we see now that we have seven active contacts, which um, is our own email address and the six that we have just imported. All right, so that's how we import our email list into our ActiveCampaign account. Thank <laughs> you.